Hey there, YouTubers. Back again. And by the, by the title of the video, you can see what this is. You may pick up an unboxing of Batman. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is because I had this game before the standard version. Like, three weeks after it came out, I went and bought it. And after, halfway through the game, like, after I, uh, first time I fought Scarecrow, it would crap out and corrupt my game. And I couldn't play it. It deleted all my, uh, save file and everything. I had to start over from scratch. Now, I did it three times. And then I had to go return it. And then I decided to pick this up because it's a $29.99 game. $30 game. And I got a free, uh, gamer issue from Best Buy with a $15 coupon off for it. So I decided to get it again. So, this time it's, uh... The, the Game of the Year edition, so I figured I'd give it another go because I do want to finish the story mode. I didn't get to finish it because of, like I said, after Scarecrow, it would crap me out of it. It would corrupt my file and I'd have to start all the way over from the beginning. And it was a very fun game. So, I love how it says Greatest Hits and the case is white. That don't make no sense. Greatest, hit, greatest Hits games, the cases are red. But I'm not arguing because I do like the white cases, so... Here it is, Batman Game of the Year Edition. Arkham Asylum, and I am going to open it because I do want to finish the game. I mean, I haven't been able to finish it because, like I said, it corrupted every time I played it. So, let me open it. Sorry. Alright, this should be open enough. Oh, wow. Last game I unboxed with the Razor, it would not open. Like, it was getting on my nerves. And, I just can't believe... That when I got this game, it was such a fun game. And I couldn't play it because of the stupid corruption thing. The discs. And I hate it starting over, so I did have to return it to Soundgarden. But I do have it again. So there it is. Greatest hits. I mean, uh, yeah, greatest hits, technically. But Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. Now let me open it. This is for the PS3. Uh, okay, cool. Alright. Oh, wow. Those are cheesy. No, I'm going to keep these in the pack because I have 3D glasses from a movie, so I'm going to use them. But I'm going to keep this in the pack because it's a collector's, collector's item. So, there's the disc. Now, what I can say from this game so far is it is a good game, but I don't know how the end works. There's the manual. Right there, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's in black and white, not very much. I have played the game before. It's a very fun game. I am kind of interested to see how it ends because I am probably going to go get Arkham City and I would like to be able to finish this first so that's why I picked this up. I only got it for $15 because I had the $15 off coupon from uh, Best Buy Gamer Magazine and I looked over for it. They did not have it at all anywhere so I had to go to the Best Buy way out of my way to go get it but I do have it again so Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. A lot of it's pretty cool. Four extra challenge maps. Plays the Joker. I had the standard version. None of this came on it. So now I have the Game of the Year edition. I'm hoping, and I really am hoping, this does not do the same thing. Because my luck, it probably will. But I'm hoping it don't because I would like to finish it. And even if it does, I will keep this. Because it's pretty cool. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I can't wait to play it again. If you have played this, don't uh, type in the, the comments. Well, you can. I really don't care. But... Uh, uh, how it ends and everything. You can. I don't care. Go ahead. I don't. I don't care. I'll play it anyway. But I'm gonna play this. I look forward to playing it. It's gonna be fun. And that's pretty cool. I mean, and before you, uh, if you're watching it, if you're still watching it, before you say, "Oh, you're mad, Lou. You're just now getting it." Watch the first part of the video, and you'll see why I'm just now getting it again. Because I didn't want to go through the corruption, uh, corruption procedure again because that was a pain in my butt. Like I said, I started the story three times over. I played through the story like an idiot three times because I thought maybe it was something I was doing. Nope. And uh, the combat mode, like where you have to fight all the villains, where you can play as the Joker. Now that's where you can play as the Joker. But with that, you could not. I couldn't do it. Like, I get to it, beat it, and boom, it'd be done. And I'm like, what the frick? So, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to play. I'll put a comment. I'll put a... Uh, audio thing or I animate it in here letting you know if I finish it because I can't wait to finish it. Another thing I'm kind of worried about is my trophies. Uh, I already have trophies for this game. But will those trophies stay? Or can I uh, still earn trophies even though I got a different version of the game? 
or a new disc. I'm hoping they will. I'm pretty sure they will. I hope they will. But if they don't, oh well. Uh, so there. There's that. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and or comment. And oh, long finger. Peace out, YouTube.